What we're going to be looking at here is just a review of the disposition here of property, plant, and equipment. Now a company may retire plant assets voluntarily or dispose of them by sale, exchange, involuntary conversion, donation, or scrap or abandonment. What we'll do is we're going to be just looking at a basic example for each of these ex cases here except for the exchange which is a bit more complicated. Now regardless of the type of disposal, depreciation must be taken up to the date here of the disposition, then remove all the accounts related to the retired asset, and generally the book value of the asset does not equal its disposal value here. As a result, our gain or loss results here. The reason is that the depreciation is an estimate here of the cost allocated and not a valuation of it. The gain or loss is really a, a correction here to our net income for the years which the asset was used. And we're going to start with our first uh, example here where we have an involuntary conversion such as a fire, flood, theft, or condemnation here. And you report the difference between the amount recovered here, if any, and the asset's book value as either a gain or a loss. And it may be reported as an extraordinary item on our income statement. So let's go back here and look at our basic example that we're going to use here. On 1231X1, Corporation A has a machine recorded on their books as follows here. And we're not going to go through all the numbers here, but you can see them here. We have the machine's original cost, less its accumulated depreciation here, gives the book value amount here of the machine. Now that's of 1231X1. And the depreciation here is based on $144,000 per year and a straight line basis. So let's look at our first example here where we have the involuntary conversion. And the example is where a fire completely destroys the machine here on 831X2. So that's the next year here on August, the end of the August. And the insurance settlement is for $1,260,000. And that's received for this casualty here. They receive that here for the damage of the machine here. And it, we're going to, for example here, it was just received immediately. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we just record this. And this I'm going to be looking at here is as of 831X2 here. So the first thing we would have here for an insurance settlement here, again on, this is on our, the cash amount, that would be increased here by the amount of the insurance settlement here. And then for the uh, machine itself here, well it's carried at a cost amount here and that would be removed off the books here. Remember the machine is being disposed of here so that's removed off the books. And then we'd also have our accumulated depreciation here and we're going to have to take that off the books first uh, as well here. But what we have to do is we first have to calculate the depreciation through the date here of this uh, uh, disposal here, or the, the casualty here. So we have to first calculate the uh, interest for the year here, and that's from 1 1 here through 8 to 31 x 2, and that's simply the 144,000 per year times 8 twelfths, or 8 months for the year here, and it gives you $96,000. So we would credit our accumulated depreciation here by 96 thousand and then recognize here at the depreciation expense on our income statement here for ninety six thousand then our total uh, de accumulated depreciation would just be the sum amounts for the year here eighteen six eighteen eight 816,000 and take that off the books here. Now the other thing we'd have to do, we're going to have to re determine a gain or loss. In this case it's going to be a loss on our income statement here and it's calculated here in this fashion. The machine cost here we have less the accumulated depreciation to date gives us our book value here on the machine and then the cash received on that uh, from the insurance settlement here. Uh, you take the difference here between the cash received here is less than its book value here. So in this case we're going to have a loss here of $524,000. So we would record that or debit or increase our loss on the income statement here for $524,000. Next uh, let's look at the sale of the machine here and the donation of the machine here. Now let's look at how we would uh, record the, uh, the sale here of a plant asset. We're going to be using the same example here that we previously used here for our machine cost here, accumulated depreciation, book value, and then our depreciation per year here. Now we have the sale of our, ass our machine here on 41X2 here, and the, that's where the Corporation A sold the machine here for $2,080,000 here to Corporation B. So just looking at it from uh, our recording it here on 41X2 here, uh, we have the cash that we received 
received on the sale of the machine here for uh, debit that or increase it for two million eighty thousand dollars and then we would have to remove the machine off its books here to dispose of the machine we would credit that here at its cost of two million six hundred thousand dollars and then we have our accumulated depreciation of course we have the amount that was accumulated up until the beginning of the year at seven hundred twenty thousand and then we have to calculate the depreciation for the year here and that's for one one through four one x two here and that was simply 144,000 times three months here gives us $36,000. So what we would do here is we'd add that to our accumulated depreciation here and then we'd recognize it as depreciation expense here in our income statement. Remember that's for the year here, 1-1 one, one through 4-1-X-2. Debit that here for $36,000. So our accumulated depreciation, the total amount here would be $756,000 which we have to remove off our books. And then the next thing we would have in this case we're going to have a gain here on the disposal of the machine here and we'd have to recognize a gain or a loss here but let's look at how we have our calculate our gain here so we have the machine cost here and then we'd subtract out the accumulated depreciation here that's the amount depreciated up until the disposal here of the machine or the sale and machine that gives us our book uh, subtracting accumulated depreciation from our machine cost gives us our book value here and then we received cash here uh, the cash amount here and you can see the cash we received here is greater than our book value so the difference here is recognized as a gain here at two, uh, $236,000 so on our income statement we would credit a gain here for $236,000 now let's look at the case here we have a donation here and I think it's going to be on seven 31 here of X2 here where Corporation A donates a machine here to a city or a governmental body here and the fair value of the machine at the time of the donation is estimated to be 2.2 a uh, two million two hundred thousand dollars so now with donations made here there's uh, our little rules here we have the contributions or the donations made by companies here number one you recognize as an expense in the period donated here number two measure at the fair value of assets it's donated we have that uh, at two million two hundred thousand here and then if there's a difference exists between its fair value of the asset here and its book value then you recognize a gain or a loss so let's look at our go through our example here again the machine here at the disposal uh, we would record it here at at its cost here so we take that off its books here at its cost and then our accumulated depreciation same as we've done before here the beginning amount here at the beginning of the year then for the year here we'd have to calculate our depreciation for the year here through 731 which is seven months times our uh, straight our 144,000 per year gives us a depreciation expense here of $84,000 for the year here so that's for the year here on our income statement depreciation expense and then the total amount uh, accumulated depreciation would be the sum beginning amount here plus depreciation for the year gives us eight hundred and four thousand dollars which we have to take off our books here now again accumulated depreciation is a contra account to, to our machine account now uh, two things we have to uh, uh, account for here and that would be the a contribution expense here on the disposal of the machine here again on our income statement that would be debited or increased here our expense a contribution expense for two two million two hundred thousand dollars remember that was the fair value at the of the donated machine here at the time of the donation next we have to calculate uh, and it's going to be a gain in this case on a disposal of machine again it goes on to our income statement and that's based uh, looking at it here that's calculated as follows here we have the machine cost here of two million six hundred thousand less the accumulated depreciation that was eight hundred and four thousand dollars remember that was up through the date here the donation and then the difference here uh, those amounts gives us our book value here and then comparing our book value to the donated donation fair value the two million two hundred thousand dollars compared to our book value here our carrying amount of one million seven hundred ninety six thousand uh, dollars you can see we have the fair value is greater so we have a gain here of four hundred and four thousand dollars so what we would do uh, on our income statement we just um, uh, credit or increase our gain here on this uh, for this contribution here of four hundred and four thousand dollars now next we're going to look at scrap or abandonment 
Okay, now let's look at scrap or abandonment of an asset and then just look at it in these terms here. We're not going to go through any journal entries. We'll just look at it here and how we'd handle it. Uh, say we have a machine cost here of 2600000 accumulated depreciation of 2500000 So the difference gives us a book value here of $100,000. Now, uh, just a note here. If an asset still can be used even though it's fully depreciated, in this case it's almost depreciated, it may be kept here in the books at the cost less the accumulated depreciation or its book value. Now let's look at the case here where without any cash recovery you'd recognize a loss here equal to the assets book value here. So uh, we're carrying the asset here at its book value here of $100,000 and we don't have any cash recovery here just an abandonment of the asset. Now let's look at the case here if the scrap value exists the gain or loss is the difference between the asset scrap value and its book value. Say, so let's take for an example here. This uh, machine has a scrap value here of seventy thousand dollars. The book value here of a hundred thousand dollars. So the difference here, scrap value is less than a book value here. So we would record a or we'd have a loss here of thirty thousand dollars. So uh, that that's just as a summary here of how we would handle scrap or abandonment of an asset.